Hi, I'm Madeline. Welcome to Contemporary Tarot. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the differences between the kings and queens. Uh, all right, first off, let's just start with this imagery is um, based on, you know, traditional Western European imagery. It's like royalty um, and questions or uh, qualities of power and mastery are filtered through this particular lens. And also the following also will include obviously my assumptions about gender because we bring ourselves to, to the tarot. So in my opinion, the kings are not necessarily male, uh, male or female, but what kings represent are hierarchical power power that is um, like a mountain more. You're just at the very top. It's um, the buck stops with you. There's a sense of the weight of responsibility of the entire suit on each card to me, of each king. Uh, and this responsibility can be embraced and worn gracefully and desired or can be a burden, can be both. Kings to me are focused will. It's um, perhaps to the exclusion of other viewpoints. It's the benevolent dictator, um, someone who um, leads with a great authority and um, decisiveness. All right, queens. To me, queens are as opposed to tapping into a more structured external type of power. This is, I believe, tapping in more into your personal values and um, your own rules. Uh, this is more collaborative power. Um, some people call it soft power. Queens have the ability to collaborate very successfully within a group. Um, Queens are able to build true consensus and um, and will, can do that like before leadership or as they're leading to bring people along and then lead them forward. Uh, I, I kind of view it as the king is my way or the highway and the queen is my way. Uh, so there is, um, there, to me, there's equal power and equal mastery. It's just how it is applied in the external world, in the world through which you're living and moving, um, or within, of course. Uh, so I'm going to do a few riffs on the different suits. Um, to me, I look at the Queen of Pentacles, and she is lush and growing, surrounded by nature. King of Pentacles is surrounded by what has been built, um, the pentacles in society, the concrete things of um, things that have been built and created. Uh, the King of Cups looks a little bit out to sea to me because it's about all emotions and turbulent and creativity and, and lush emotional life. Uh, the Queen of Cups to me is a little more grounded being on the ground and not in turbulent water. King of Swords I see as this is my way. This is the way to go. This is how we're going to do it. Um, Queen of Swords to me is seeing everything clearly and then encouraging, let's go this way. Um, it's more of an invitation than a command. Commands and invitations are in many ways equally powerful. They're just applied um, differently. Uh, King of Wands and Queen of Wands. Oh, they both have quick, nimble animals at their feet. Queen has a flower in her left hand while the king has what looks like a clenched fist. So to me, there's openness as opposed to being slightly defensive or protective or ready to protect um, your passion or the passion of your group. I hope this helps. Uh, share your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear more. And thanks for visiting. I'll see you soon.